Okay, so I thought I would redo the video that I did a few years ago in the rain barrels. I'd since painted them brown because they were, I was having algae problems. Um, and you can see each one has its own little shutoff valves. I'm getting closer so you can see. That way, if one of the barrels breaks, I can cut it off from the rest of them and I don't lose all the water. But you can see these are starting to, to break. The shade cloth is to help protect them from the sun, but it's, you know, they're only gonna last so long, so I'm gonna have to replace these soon. So anyway, so it runs here just like it did a few years ago. This PVC runs alongside the house to those barrels. Okay, so these two barrels have their own rain spigot as well, so they can catch water as well. And all six of these barrels, the four that are over there, and these two are all connected together, and they all have their own shutoff valves just in case. And then there's PVC that runs back here, around my deck, all the way around the deck. Runs around there, oops, over to this side. And I had a shutoff valve here as well. And then this is so that in the middle of summer when my rain barrels run out, which always happens, I can just hook my spigot, my house spigot, into this to water the garden instead of dragging a hose clear across the yard. So I just connect it into here. And this PVC pipe goes to here. And this is where I used to have this hose is connected into the system via this pipe right here. And this one goes across the yard um, to the uh, garden. So anyway, I used to have a pump here and I need to put another one in because there's not enough water pressure from the barrels here by the house to go clear across the yard um, for the soaker hoses. I can water the garden through the hose because that's running through the pump over there that you'll see in a minute. But my soaker hoses are not through the pump. Although actually I probably could hook them up that way, but it would just be a pain. It would be easier if I just got another pump here. And I used to house, oh, the battery's still in there. There's the battery. And then that is charged with a solar panel. It's a Coleman 15 watt solar panel right up there and it doesn't even need a charge controller because it maybe it's a 10 watt I can't I have to look at the notes I can't remember now anyway when we redid this yard I had the guy dig a trench um the guy that came in and did the sprinkler system I had him dig a trench so that I could put the PVC clear across the yard so the PVC comes out here and we had to use a, a PVC a hose I pulled it up so you could see it but it's just a hose because this is curved so obviously PVC is not going to work so here's my little manifold system. I use this one when I'm using the barrels from by the house. And I use this one, it's off now, you can see. I use it when I'm using the spigot because I don't want the pressure of the hose going through the pump. I don't, I honestly don't know if it'll ruin it or not. So I just did two just to be safe. So we're only gonna deal with this one for right now. So this one goes here, across here, into this pump and this is the pump that I use you can see it's a it's a sure flow pump from Amazon I think it's like $60 this needs to be cleaned out quite often the water is going to come pouring out of here because of the it's hooked up to the rain barrels I must have shut something off I have to go back and look so this has to be cleaned out often it's not too bad right now but it gets all the gunk and algae it just adds life to the to the pump okay so i close up the pump so in here is the wiring for the switch the battery i don't know if you can see it there's a shed over there the battery is in there and the wiring to the solar panel is on top of this pergola sorry about the sun but it's on top of this pergola and it's wired to the battery, to the pump. I flip the switch and this is the kind of water pressure I get. Not bad, right? I gotta change the hose out, the washer out. But that's the kind of water I get. So, um, I also have it so that I can pump because the water runs out so fast here in the summer. 
I have it connected to this, which goes into a 500 gallon reservoir. So the first thing I do after it rains is I pump the water. I just open this up and I shut off. I make sure the hose is shut off and the soaker panels. And I turn this one on and the water goes into that barrel. I also have this barrel here um, that holds 55 gallons and I just fill it with a hose in the top. I just use the hose. So, um, oh, to use this when all the barrels by the house have run out to use this one I have this right here is where it's pumped out of there's a, a line behind the fence that comes here and it pumps out I hope that all makes sense I hope it helps I'm sure I missed stuff but 